Hi, it's Nick Astor, founder and publisher of TripleFunded.com, here at the South by Southwest Eco 2014 conference. I'm here with Dr. Alejandro Rios. You are the director of the uh, Sustainable Bioenergy Research Consortium for Mazdar Institute. Um, big topic here at South by, we've been talking about biofuels. Right. Well, uh, we're, as, uh, as was mentioned, uh, we're working on a project we call the Integrated Seawater Energy and Agriculture System. I-S-E-A-S. Um, I-S-E-A-S. Okay. Um, it consists basically of three subsystems. One is aquaculture, where we grow fish and shrimp. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a halophyte agriculture piece. Mm -hmm. uh, halophytes are plants that can grow using seawater or salt water. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a silviculture piece, mm -hmm. which uh, we use with uh, another type of halophyte, which is a mangrove. Mm -hmm. Um, where we would trim the mangrove to have biomass for bioenergy. Mm -hmm. um, the ICES uh, does not fall into these uh, usual debates that you mentioned, uh, food versus fuel, because it's actually a system that generates food and fuel. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't fall into this indirect land use change debate, uh, where you know we're not uh, tearing down a, a, a rainforest to be able to plant some bioenergetic crop like a palm oil. Mm -hmm. um, and of course it doesn't fall into the freshwater uh, use debate because as you know most of the biofuels that have been considered first generation biofuels actually one of the biggest problems they have is that they use a lot of water that can be used to cultivate human food. Mm -hmm. and so we're not falling into that debate because as, as, as is mentioned, it's the, the seawater element on it uses one of the most abundant resources in the world. 97% mm -hmm. of the world's water is seawater or in the oceans. And so, you know, if we're able to combine that specific aspect of the use of seawater with the use of arid land by growing these halophyte plants effectively, uh, we can basically generate a completely new agriculture industry. 